Good morning, everyone. Well, I woke up this morning. Let me see if I get the same view. I think I have to shut this. It's already dried up. But yeah, I poked up my bedroom window here behind me and saw a puddle of water under there. So alarmed, I came running out and found out my careless mistakes from last night. I was moving buckets around, moving down the peppers to make room for cucumbers this week. And I had forgot, or I had not lined this, this had a shorter pipe in it and it was off kilter. So it was spewing water out, which is bad. Second, which not quite a mistake, but still I should have done better. This tube had popped out and was squirting all over the place, as you can see there. So I'm going to go get some clips to put on here and some self-tapping screws to hold these tubes in. But end result is I lost a lot of water last night. Luckily, my pump did not go down enough to dry, but you can see the distance between the float valve and the water. So the float valve slowed down the loss of water in the sump tank, which is a good thing. So my pump didn't run dry. And fishes are all still happy. But, yeah, that water in the sump tank was gone. And plus, we used up that much water. And out of three tanks, that's about, that could be about 100 gallons. So, not happy. I was hoping to be able to track how long that water lasted in the summer because we may have had our last rainstorm, but now I hope not. I need to top that off. So lesson learned, but luckily I had the float valve in, so you gotta have backups. Gotta have backups. So I'll go over the rest of the updates in the next clip. Yeah, we can see some updates have been made. So say good morning fishies. That guy's got a big fat butt. Oops. That guy. Right there. He's got a big fat butt. I wonder if he's pregnant. Or I should say, I wonder if she's pregnant. I don't know. Anyway, I'll see you guys in the next clip. Good morning, YouTube land. It is uh, a great morning. It's going to be a little warm today, but it's an awesome morning. Killer blue skies everywhere here in sunny San Diego. And now that the system's kind of the catastrophe was averted the other day with the water and uh, the system's kind of running great right now i'm doing building slower and i'm actually doing other stuff too like this disaster i told you i was going to clean this shed out eventually since for the next week we looks like no rain i emptied the shed and i'm gonna be getting it out cleaned out but you guys don't care about that let's just go through an update on the system here i i put up the uh, netting here for the climbers and you can see this guy's already leaning towards it. We'll have to straighten him out a little bit. And uh, tomato smell on the fingers. And I'm in pruning them up. I'm probably going to prune him uh, these two branches off later. And uh, they're doing real well. These are all cherry type tomatoes. I know, I'm pretty sure the first two were the uh, yellow oranges. A couple of them are mystery. Got them in a mystery pack, and then and this is a red beef steak. But they're all been growing. These were like little tiny babies from the packs you get at Home Depot. Or oh, here's my hand. Let me make sure I show you your phone. But these were all little babies, and they're going quite well. And then we got our zucchinis. Lower leaves are yellowing a little bit, but that's okay. I'm going to be dosing with uh, iron and seaweed and uh, Epsom salts here soon. And these are the peas that I kept from the, uh, uh, what was it, the microgreens. These are the ones I kept, and they're growing nicely. And then we got our bells. Still need to move these two down to the lower level. 
I have cucumbers inside. Seedlings going. I'll take you guys inside to show you those in a little bit. But the peppers are growing great. No red red bells, but I just don't. I think that's a red and orange. Yeah, or yellows. Um, wife doesn't like greens. I didn't plenty of greens. Yeah. And then over here, this is all spinach that I just threw seeds in the bed here. They're all getting their secondary leaves here. I'm doing quite well. A little baby still coming up. I think that's one I moved. I tried to move a couple. This one didn't take. Take him out. This one looks like he's taken. Remember, these are the strawberries we're just seeing if they'll survive because they didn't look too good. This one looks like it's doing better. So, if they don't do so well in the next couple days, they might go away. Basil, this one has some yellow leaves on the bottom. Like something might already start munching, but the rest are doing well. And this was another one of those packed tomatoes. I got to get him moved out of here. I don't know why I put him in here. Um, yeah, I don't know. I'm going to have to pull them out and put them over there. And there's nothing else in here, so I need to get some plants in here. And these are all kale seeds that I threw in here. I'm going to let them go a little bit bigger, and then I might thin them out or try to move some around. There's nothing else in here. So I might try to move it around and make it all kale. And then over here, I'm getting ready. I got this foam from Home Depot. That's what it looks like whole. It's a square. I, I don't know if I like the foam. Yeah. So I got this um, Coroplast black. It does get kind of warm. And it's funny how it warps in different directions. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw down the corners. And then put the holes in for the pots. And that leaves a layer of air. So it's not actually floating. It'll leave a pocket of air in there. And I'm still going to provide aeration in there with the stone. But that's the plan with this. I got three, so I can do these three. And again, I have lots of uh, lettuce and green seedlings going inside to go in here. Then here's our strawberries. Let's see the roots. Uh, look at those roots. There was no roots when I put them in there. So I'm about ready to uh, remove the uh, riser. I put these new ones in here. They're called Loran. And the roots are already starting to poke down. So I'm going to give it another day or two to let these ones root down. Because I just started those. My camera's probably... I start talking, I forget where the camera's going. But these ones are rooting. Look at all those roots. Nice roots. I might throw, Again, when I get the air coming over here, I might throw an air stone in here too to kind of aerate the water up here. But I'm about ready to, like I said, on the end here, take the riser out to lower the water level down and get some more air going in there. So that's where the plants are going. And then over here, nothing happening yet. You know, I want to get this planted out before I start too much over here. Um, yeah, I, I, I drilled out and put the bulkheads, drains in there. But I still have to do the feed and I still have to do the drain. And I'm just trying to low-key on spending money right now because uh running out <laughs> imagine that you know this costs a lot of money <laughs> to put together so let's come over here we have some new residents to the fish tank i've tilapia was still kind of cold for them so uh couldn't find any... I, I, in fact i have found a source for tilapia now i'm, I'm probably gonna get some this week the manta zambai whatever but if you can see in here through the water I got uh, 10 bluegill in here. Um, they're a hardy fish. There's one right there. Little baby. These are about you know, two inches long or so. And they'll grow up to over a foot long. So I plan to put about 10 to 12 tilapia in here. And we'll see what go how's it going. But I need to get more plants going as I'll show you in a few minutes. And these guys are doing pretty well again a little goldie down there has got a fat butt and i don't know what's going on if she's got a problem pregnant or just eating too much and i don't see the little blackie she must be hiding out in the tube i hope she's okay but i don't see any floaters so i assume she's hiding out in the tube but all the rest of them are doing fine 
so and where's my pin here I can show you guys my pH has been dropping let me do this one-handed here which is what I needed it was up over eight and I did do some dosing uh, last week oh, it's now just went up a point it's down to seven oh there it goes back down it was seven points there we go that's what I like to see 7.6 so it's dropping with the nitrit nitrification process is bringing the pH down on its own now but I did dose with some pH down last week and it's morning so the temperatures are still 64 degrees it'll get close to 70 later today we're getting warmer days so that's all good news let me close this up so it doesn't get uh, dry and then Here's our colors right now. Our ammonia has dropped. This has been more than five minutes, so it's darkening a little bit, but it used to be a really deep dark green. So our ammonia is dropping. That's good news. Our nitrites are up. We like to see those start coming down here soon as the bacteria starts munching on those. And our nitrates are pretty high right now. That's why I want to make sure, you know, I got enough plants going in there to soak that stuff up. That's not towards the top of the chart, so. I might grab a couple more plants to put in uh, some healthier, bigger plants to put in some of the buckets here from Home Depot as I wait for my seeds to go. So, let's check the sump tank real quick. Water's back up to normal level with the float valve there. Everything's flowing fine. So, just need to get the, continue balancing the uh, Nitrites, nitrates, and ammonia there, and they're going in the right directions. So let's go check our water tank. We have no rain in the forecast. But yeah, filling up that tank brought it down, so we're, all, we're about half of our capacity right now. So it's still March. You know, they say April shower, so we're counting on April showers to come to top that off and hopefully maybe by the April showers come in I'll have this cleaned out and a couple more tanks added because the idea is to have enough water here to keep this topped off all summer long until the next winter storm we don't get very many summer storms here so that's it I'm gonna take you inside and show the seeds how they're going. Say bye bye fishies. Have a good day. I'm going to be running and taking my stuff to the post office here in a minute and uh, taking the daughter and her friend up to the movies. I'm going to come home and I might do a little bit like I've been doing just a little tiny bit each day. Add into it. I want to put on, uh, the two more wires up here to hold those up and probably put a shade cloth across there. I think I have enough for one more of this shade and clean out the shed. Lo and behold, I found out a bunch of shade cloth that I used in the hydroponics greenhouse. And it's buried underneath here. So anyway, let's go inside and see the seedlings. All right, here we are in the seed room. And these are somewhat, um, I'm gonna say maybe a fail. <laughs> Um, I was doing trying something new with my microgreens by putting a paper towel a moist paper towel over the top Before I put the weight on top. I'm, I'm trying to get them to not stick because they usually stick to the bottom of the trays And they stuck even worse to the paper towels. So when I took the paper towels off ripped out sections whole sections, so but I'll get some greens still to munch on um, I'm pretty sure this is the radish and this is the watercress but over here we got the stuff the seedlings coming in for to go outside and this whole row right here is iceberg lettuce and I need to thin these out a little bit this whole row here is romaine simmerin the red romaine this row is romaine little green and it's just like the name says our little green romains Let's see if we can get a couple of these out uh, I mean, a couple of them I pulled out and I re these singles are ones that I pulled out and replanted in some cubes, so I might do that later today. 
And then this roll is the butter crunch. So once these get up a little bit bigger, get some roots root shown out of the cubes, they're gonna go outside and then I'll replant more. Over here we got our, these are cauliflower. Yeah, I need to pull some of them out. Oops, it's like pulling off their heads. Ah, pulling their spines. This is blue kale. Don't know what these are, but they're not growing, so I guess it doesn't matter. I'm pretty sure these two are cantaloupe. I forgot to label them as I move them down. This row is cucumber, and it looks like I have two no-shows on there. And then this row is broccoli. And I don't know if I have enough light up here. Let me go turn the light on. Because the ones up in the cedar, I left up in the cedar aren't aren't coming out either so these are failed ones too so a lot of my i got to replant my yellow squash a lot of that was yellow squash and did not come up and some spinach and the rest of the cantaloupe and they did not come up oh this was a an experiment which did not go too well um but it looks like i got some growing other sunflower seeds so i might just end up pulling some out and just plant them outside as sunflowers rather than shoots. We'll see what happens. When I, I tried doing that without without soil and I was just having a hard time doing it. You know, I, maybe I soaked them too long in the bleach or used too much bleach. I don't know. So that's it for the update. Um, as we get the systems you know, pretty much built out, uh, I'm going to do less updates. Um, less often I'll probably just do a weekly update and show you how the things are going. And then anything I've added to the system. So that's it for today. We'll leave you with a lovely shot of these cucumbers. I can't wait for the cucumbers to go outside. And I want some cucumbers. <laughs> All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. See ya.